Hey guys, welcome to Destiny Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use a curl to send API requests, right? So, a couple of people are asking me that, uh, hey, uh, Pramod, I'm starting my journey as an API tester, or I'm basically uh, already a software tester, but I don't know how to use curl and how to basically test or make different STPP methods by using curl, right? So, in this video, please watch till the end. I'm gonna discuss about how you can make the basic STPP method, all of them, one by one uh in uh by using curl right so let's get started all right so first of all let me give you the context right curl is basically used uh in command line tool it's a kind of a command line tool or kind of a utility which basically help you to transfer data right so it was initially it's an open source software right so which is uh, of course it's a free right and uh, if you go to this website which is curl.se right this is their official website let me show you how this looks like let me make like self a little smaller so that you guys can understand so this is their website and if you see it's just a command line tool and library to transfer data with url right that's what they say in a very simple manner right and uh the interesting fact is that it's a very lightweight and it supports lots of different protocols if you see it's uh, support dict file transfer ftp file transfer protocols gopher stpp put post uh, pad delete all the things uh, stpp methods stpp2 secure layer right now third uh, third layer is basically stpp3 and lots of different uh, if you see smts and a couple of other uh, protocols right so they it's a it's a very 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 uh, interesting tool to learn it's a command line tool so how do you install it uh, let me show you right so if you are on a mac some most of the time it's already there right and if you do curl right so it, it's already installed most of the time in mac right if you don't have installed i will recommend give me one second right so uh, if you are on windows you can go to this curl.se slash download.html and you can download it right so if you see there are like a couple of uh, zip files and other things so depending upon your operating system uh, for example if you are on windows free linux right uh, let's see where it is so there are lots of linux distribution if you want to download open server qnx solarized vmware uh, here it is windows 32 Windows 32 with uh, Sigwin, right? So you can download it uh, from here. Or I will give you this link also where they have discussed how to install it on Windows, Mac, and different uh, platforms. Okay, it's very helpful. By default, if you see, uh, most of the time uh, it's already installed in Mac, right? So I'm using Mac, and uh, when you type it, it basically tells you if you want to see helps option, which basically different options available, right? So curl help if you see. Uh, we have lots of different options. For example, uh, here you see A is used for append, is if you want to add any certi certificates, continue, and lots of options, right? So let me show you which one are important. So if you see X minus X, it basically means request and STP method to be used. So basically, by using X, we can mention which STP method we have to use. I, if you want to include something, D for data, whenever we are making post requests put request patch request we need to send data right so that's where we need to use d that is for a header and uh, you can use uh, the full name also which is hyphen hyphen header or you can use a short form minus h capital right so pay attention to this all right so first of all let me tell you uh what we are doing uh we are make we are making some api requests using curls so that's where it is important and uh trust me people ask this question in interview so pay attention to this right all right so first of all, the first STP method, which is basically a get method. So get is basically used to retrieve any kind of a resource, right? Uh, and get uh, most of the time you are making a get by on browser, right? For example, if you do google.com, right? So you are basically requesting from server that I want google.com's index page, right? And you are making a get request. If you want to see, just go to the network tag and refresh this. And if you see this one, the first page go to header it's a get request request method is get right so how do i make a get request in the curl uh, here i have given you the link right so this is the easiest one go to this and uh this one right so this is uh, a dummy api if you see json placeholder 
right so let me show you you can make get request by using a browser also as i have told you right so this this is the response you will get it's a just a json file containing different user ids user name different id1 id2 user data right and what we are doing is that we are making some a get request we are not using any kind of uh, argument as of now so directly if you do by default it's a get request in the curl okay makes sense right if you want to use with param right if you want to use param you can do that which is basically by getting if you want to get uh user id5 only right uh sorry for that let me clear this let me uh yeah. yeah right so you can uh, of course get by using parameters also right so now uh, let's make a post request which is most important one so whenever we are making a post request we are basically creating a new resource right so we are basically creating a new resource right and whenever we are creating a new resource we need to send the data right so how we are going to send the data we are going to see in the demo all right so uh let me copy and let's clear and see okay so what i am doing here is that i am making a curl request so by using minus x i am mentioning that i will be using a post method okay and minus d of course uh, whenever we have to send data we can mention it by using minus d in the double quotes i am telling this is a key this is a value this is a key this is a value and this is the overall data i am sending a user id 5 title is equal to post body is post content and in the end you have to mention the url where you want to make a post request okay so let's do that and if you see that we have a response so the response is user id user id 5 is created post title post content and this is the your id okay i can change uh, the ids also for example i want user id to be 137 title post uh, 2 let's do it quickly okay so now if you see user id is this this is increment id 101 and you have title body which is added okay now sometimes you need authorization okay so that's that is very important and how do i sell the uh send this this is a demo guys i think this will not work so i have just added you that how you can do it okay so here if you see we have a curl again and we have minus x we are telling that we are using a post request this is the URL. This is just a dummy URL, guys. This will not work right now. I am. Uh, I have to add some headers also. So I am adding headers. Header, headers are just uh, meta information that I am sending, and I will be sending this information to the key value pair. So this is the key. Uh, this is the key, and uh, this is the value. This is the key. This is the value. I am telling that I will be sending you a JSON request. This is a bearer token. These these are things. And the data that I'm sending is username, this email, this password, this. Okay. And this will not work as of now because the URL is not working. But if you have any kind of authenticated URL that you can do try out this one. Okay. So I've just given you the exact template that you can use. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, similarly, uh, if you want to use put, right? Uh, it's very similar. Uh, for example, we are using a put. But here, instead of post, we are making, we are just changing the uh, request to put rather than post, right? In the previous example, we have used post, man, post, right? So here, if you do this, it will work, right? We are, we have updated, successfully updated and I, ID is equal to five and the uh, title and body. All right. Similarly, you can do patch, right? Uh, similar way, right? So how what is patch actually patch patch basically means if you want to update partially a resource and put is basically if there's no resource uh, is uh, present it will create a new resource but if the source is present it will change the every field that we are sending right so that's the major difference in patch patch and put okay so that's pay attention to that delete is very simple guys it's just uh telling uh by by using which method and the id you need to send here the path param right this is called as path param where i am we are basically mentioning the five we need to delete and it will delete it will it will return you empty response in this case all right uh i hope you have learned something things how to make a uh these all five methods and uh this is one of the interesting uh uh resource that i have found especially for you guys make sure you pay attention which is everything curled or dev and trust me there's a free book uh, i think there's a free book in the somewhere you can download or you can just play around 
you can learn everything about the curl if you want to use it in with different protocols like ftp uh smtp or there are a couple of more right uh these all of them right if you want to use them you can use them right uh like thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you have learned something new thanks a lot and please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you uh all or click on the bell icon also that's very very important right this is your host promote i hope you have learned something new and uh, thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video